Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my friends, and welcome to a quick Planet Zoo tutorial on how to prepare your folder, specifically your OVL data folder, for the upcoming update for Planet Zoo and any updates beyond that. Now, of course, when you do mod, as I always say, you do mod at the risk of breaking your own game. And with these updates, we never really know whether mods are going to break or not, so I've received a few recommendations to put out this quick little tutorial on how to prepare your folder for the upcoming updates and beyond there and so forth and so on. Now, as you can see over here, I have a wide variety of different, uh, just relatively standard mods. I have some new species in here, like the Three-Toed Sloth, the Asian Water Monitor, the Red River Hog, the Gibbon, the Fusa. I know, I, I was doing a little funky stuff. But I also have stuff like Remasters in here, I have Planet Zoo Plus Paths, I have a few different other game-changing ones like Planet Zoo Plus, I have some props in here, I believe I have the prop Minecraft pack, and I also have a few other things like free build axing and stuff. Now, before I actually do show you guys how to prepare your stuff for this, um, usually remasters don't break. If anything, their visuals might get messed up just a little bit, but standard procedure is that these wouldn't break however i can understand anyone who would want to be like i just want a fresh start so that's what we're gonna do now the only things that you need in this folder are going to be well before we actually get there let's talk about how you can actually navigate here it is going to be in whatever drive your planet zoo is in so for me it's in my d drive and then i find steam library steam apps common planet zoo win 64 ovl data this is kind of standard procedure and i could show you guys how to actually access this yourself so if you actually go over here to planet zoo and you come over here to manage go to properties and go to local files if you click um browse right over here you should be able to find your planet zoo folder and then from there you go to win 64 ovl data and then you find this now, next on our list is actually going to be moving all of your mods out. Typically, I wouldn't recommend moving Axie out, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it just in case. And all the base game items, well, folders that you really need in here. So I do Control A to select everything in here. And then I hold Control while holding down my left mouse button and scrolling all the way down to Content Anniversary 2. These are our content packs, so content 0 is base game, all the way up to content 12, which would be the Grasslands pack. Content Anniversary and Anniversary 2 are going to be the Black and White Rough Lemur and the Red Deer, respectively. The only other thing that you guys need to be careful of is your game main folder. This is the one that kind of helps Planet Zoo stay together, and it's essentially a reference that goes back to all these folders and keeps everything running smoothly. So I'm going to hold control and just click on that very quickly, and now you should see everything else in blue. Now from there, I'm going to do control X, and then I'm going to come over here. I really recommend you guys make a mod storage folder. For me personally, I have it in my downloads folder. You can see it's right over there, so I just kind of plop that right in here. And then all my mods are now out of my folder. So if you come back to OVL data, you should only see 16 folders in here. Now all of these are essentially going to be your base game folders. That's really it, my friends. I hope you guys are excited for the new pack coming out, the Tropical Pack, or whatever pack is coming out in the future when I post this video to remind people to always be safe. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take care, and bye bye